the previous recording we discussed how uh, we discussed what the gravitational force is. We said that the surface of the planet, the gravitational force on any object at the surface of that planet, due to that planet, is going to be given by this expression. The gravitational force is going to be equal to the mass of the object times g, the value of the gravitational field at the surface of that planet. G depends on the planet, uh, and M depends on the object, how much mass does it have. Uh, now, that's the gravitational force at the surface of a planet. But in general, whenever we have any two masses, no matter where they are in the universe, they are going to exert a gravitational force on each other. That gravitational force is given by this expression. Uh, remember, this is supposed to say RB, uh, which is a constant, a very tiny constant, that we call a universal gravitational constant. Actually, just one note here, small g is not a constant. It is approximately 9.8 meters per second squared downwards at sea level at the surface of the Earth. But it is about 1.6 meters per second squared downwards at the surface of the Moon. So it is a different value. It's going to be a little less the 9.8 meters per second squared uh, in Colorado, for example, in Boulder, Colorado. Now, however, this G here is constant. It's a universal constant. It's, uh, it's the same constant we will use no matter where we are in the universe. And the bottom line is, whenever I have two masses, they're going to exert a force on each other. It's going to be a tiny force. That's because the constant is tiny. And the mass of the first object times the mass of the second object, essentially the product of their masses, divided by the distance separating them squared.